Alright, we should be good to go now. Sneeze. <laughs> Nothing. Of course. Isn't that how it always is, though? I hate that feeling. Like you're 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 about to sneeze, but nothing comes out. It's great. Uh, anyway, hey guys, welcome back to some more Tokyo Xanadu X Plus. Um. It's been a while since we last played this. I'm trying to think how long a while is. It has to be more than a month. Because I think the last time I played this was maybe before December. So yeah, it's, it's, it's easily been a while. But now that I'm back on a normal schedule at work, I should be able to stream much more. I just haven't been lately because I've been kind of lazy. But that, that usually happens around the new year. Don't worry, I'll, I'll kick myself into action sooner or later. Definitely by uh, by February. Hard to get myself into action these past couple days because I've got like two days off from work. I mean, hey, it's nice to have a little break now and then. So hey, let's 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 just get back to where we were before. Um, we should be starting chapter six, but I think. We have to do the uh, chapter five. Paralog? Not paralog. Wh whatever the hell they call it in this game. The extra chapter, the side chapter, whatever the hell it is. Forgive me if I don't remember a couple characters' names. It has been a while. <laughs> hey, Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, wrong game. <laughs> Close. I mean, same country. It's close enough. Wow, it's packed today. Eh? Oh, Shio. Oh, this guy's huge. Alright. Thanks. Excuse me, young man. What's taking you so long? What's taking so long? Oh my, it looks delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Wow, when did this place get so popular? Is it because it was on that TV show? Hmm. Shio, enough with the chit chat. The Yuzuho Bank Order is ready to go. They're in front of the station. Get moving, boy! I actually don't know much about Fist of the North Star. I should learn about it, because it seems like it's pretty good. Funny persona pick? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can just put it in Discord. <laughs> don't worry, we'll cover things here. Off he go. Ah, Shio's really working hard, isn't he? <laughs> but I'm sure you've been helping out quite a bit too, Monami. Mic up a little bit. Kind of low. Of course I have. 
Especially since the place is essentially run by two old codgers. And there's been some trouble at his school recently. We've told him that he needs to rest. But he just brushes off with he just brushes us off with a forget it. I just need to man up and keeps going. Hmm, is that so? To be honest, he kinda scared me at first. But it turns out he's pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. And he's so tall and handsome too. I think I'm in love. See, everyone loves Shio. After that awkward exchange, the store stayed busy until closing. And I kept jumping around, doing everything from deliveries to helping out in the kitchen. Alright, my last delivery. Can't remember the last time things were this busy. Ever since they showed that TV special they filmed a while back, it got insanely busy. Whatever. It's better to have too much business than none at all. Now he already posted it. <laughs> nice memory, man. <laughs> oh, they're still open? I guess they still have some customers. Man, that took forever. Oh my, welcome back. Shio, there's a customer here to see you. Me? Oh, pros. Hokuto? <laughs> Still getting used to the new house. Oh, you moved recently? Nice. How you liking it so far? Maiden in the Silent Flame. これ本当に高畑くんが。ああな。神は岡見さんから教えてもらってる。どんものとは勝手が違うからなかなか苦戦しちまってるかな。いえいえ、見た目も素敵ですし、本当美味しいです。私は普段ほとんど料理をしません
clearing the fallout. <laughs> well, most of it anyway. I did manage to shift most of the blame onto a fabricated city gas leak, which helped a lot. Of course, it also means that our school has to stay off limits until Monday. No need to be coy with me. I'm amazed you were able to pull something out of that scale off. My poster. Oh. Oh, right, that thing Deadpool was posted in the Discord earlier. What, the $1,400 posters? <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> but anyway, Hokuto. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Enough about the past. What'd you really want to talk about? I know you well enough to realize you didn't come all the way here to reminisce. Store's closed, so I'm free. I've done you for three years. If you have something to say, say it. <laughs> I figured you'd see right through me. Actually, this really isn't the best place to talk right now. Why don't we go for a walk after this? A strange gate. <laughs> yeah, I know you're excited about Cold Steel 3. Yeah, it's good to stay positive about this kind of stuff, about that kind of stuff. Even if Nisa is the one localizing it. <laughs> yeah, what's important is the team behind it, not exactly uh the company. If it's going to be the same team, it should be fine. Uh, trying to think. Oh yeah, I I actually got two games that just came out recently. Uh, both of them on the Switch, of course. I got a uh, Tales. I got the Tales of Vesperia remake, and I got a uh, that uh, No More Heroes spinoff. I gotta say, I'm actually really liking the No More Heroes spinoff, despite most people saying that it's a bad game and just like some fucking throwaway. It still feels like a really good game, to me, anyway. I mean, I found some kind of difficulty when I was starting off, but I feel like I'm getting into it now. Yeah, you know... I, I, you know, playing through Tales of Vesperia again made me remember, wow, this game is hard, like... Not not the game, not the whole game, but wow, the bosses in this game are hard as fucking hell. Like, why are the bosses so fucking hard on normal mode? Yeah, that that's another thing too. The whole VA thing, like, you know, I don't mind when a game has to replace a voice actor for because uh, they couldn't get the original back. Like, I don't mind if they have to redub the game, like they did with a uh, Persona Four Golden. Like, hey, that's fine. Oh, really? Troy Baker didn't even know about it? Oh, wow. Man, you know... I feel like Bandai Namco, what they should have done... Like... Even if they... like They, they should have reached... They obviously should have reached out to Troy to see if he would come back and do it. But, uh... What is it? I mean, I don't mind that Grant George has the part now. I, I love Grant George. He's a good voice actor. But it's it's jarring when in one scene you have Troy Baker doing Yuri's voice, and then in the very next one it's just Grant George. Like, it's it's such an obvious difference, too. It's not like it's close. I mean, it's sort of close, but... Uh... Yeah, exactly. That, that's what I was saying. If they were gonna get Grant George to be the new voice for Yuri, just revoice all of his lines instead of having it be this in, inconsistent thing. And I heard they did the same thing with Judith, too, because they couldn't get her original voice actress back either. Um, but yeah, 
Like, it, it's such a weird move. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, they did the same thing with uh, Disgaea 4. Because in the remake they did for the PSP, no, uh, for the Vita. Because um, obviously Troy Baker was the original voice of Valve Torres. But for the remake, they had to get Matt Mercer in. But, uh... Oh yeah, Margaret from Persona 4 Golden, too. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, they had to get Matt Mercer to do the voices in uh, Disgaea 4 for uh, Valva Torres. Although I feel like they didn't have to redub most of the game for Valva Torres for Disgaea 4. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Matt, 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 Matt does a good job of sounding like Troy. In fact, I actually heard they tried to get Matt Mercer for Vesperia for Yuri, but he actually turned them down saying he didn't want to be like the, uh, he didn't want to be the quote unquote budget, uh, Troy Baker anymore. That he just didn't want anything to do with it. So instead, they got Grant George. At least that's what I heard. But yeah, I gotta say, like, that's probably the most jarring thing about the Vesperia remake that I've felt. I mean, other than that, it's a pretty solid remake. It's just, I don't remember the game being so fucking hard, you know? <laughs> like, almost every boss so far, I've had to turn the difficulty back down to easy. And then I just gave up and like, fuck it, I'm just playing it on easy mode now. Yeah, exactly. Like, at first, that's actually all I saw Matt Mercer as. I just saw him as, like, a Troy Baker replacement. But over the past few years, Matt's, uh, I guess, portfolio has, like, really, really expanded. He He's voiced so many different characters now. It's insane. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying, other than the whole voice actor thing... It's, it's not that bad. Um, but anyway, I also wanted to say something about the uh, No More Heroes uh, spinoff, too. Uh, I know that game's been getting like a, a lot of negative flack because it's not No More Heroes 3 and people are throwing hissy fits bitching about it. It's like, <laughs> next 45 minutes. Yup. Yeah, Troy is good. But I mean, other people do deserve chances too. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the No More Heroes, uh, Travis Strikes Back game. Like, a, a lot of people are talking shit on it, saying like, Oh, it's this boring, repetitive game. All you do is just hacking, slashing through enemies through these different levels until you get to the boss and I'm just thinking uh have you ever played a no more heroes game before that's exactly what every other single game has been how is it I mean I I've cleared the first two games already I've cleared the first two uh levels in Travis Strikes Back already I've I've enjoyed it a lot I mean there are parts where it's a little difficult but I mean it's it feels just like a no more heroes game but instead of like the whole thing of like oh you got to grind for cash on side jobs or you got to go to the gym upgrade your shit instead you have like a you have a level system where you can either choose to level Travis or Badman um yeah and that's how you increase your attack and health and then you have like a bunch of different skills to use, like you have projectiles and shit too. Honestly, I love how the combat feels. It feels great. I mean, there are some annoying enemies, but it's the same thing in No More Heroes 1 and 2. Yeah, exactly. It's like, the, the whole fucking series is, you, you, you hit shit with your beam katana. What the fuck did you think was gonna be this game? Yeah, exactly. It's it's a lot more convenient. I mean, granted, you don't... Actually, I'm trying to think. 
I mean, there's no big, like, overworld thing, but, I mean, they got rid of that in No More Heroes 2 anyway, because the overworld fucking sucked in 1. It was just so fuck, such a fucking pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it so far. I mean, my only complaint with uh, the game is that I'm a little disappointed there's no voice acting, or at least whatever voice acting there is. It's just, like, uh... Travis attacking and him saying just like random shit in Japanese, but uh, I mean I would I would have liked to have some voice acting, but I'm actually kind of surprised because uh, the story mode it plays out like a visual novel, but uh, it actually does connect to the other two games too, and I heard that at the end it teases to like No More Heroes, th uh, <clears throat> No More Heroes three, but. Yeah, I, I really like it. <laughs> yeah. The, no, not not just that. They're, they're, they're the type of people who, when they review, like, let's say they, they review a burger, they're like, oh, man, why'd they put a tomato on the burger? They just take it off and fucking throw it away. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You're a food critic. <laughs> fucking eat food, dumbass. Uh, but no, I, I, I've, I've already went to length on my thoughts on uh, game reviewers, as you all are aware. Well, not really reviewers, but uh, journalists. Games journalists. The biggest jokes in, fucking, in the entire fucking industry. Uh, no, they're fucking idiots. I, I don't believe many words they say. Like, I think IGN gave the game a 60 out of 100. I mean, I, I've, I haven't looked at the review because it's going to be garbage. I, I can tell without looking because, you know, it's IGN. I don't really take what they say seriously. I mean, these are the people who took points off of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because it's fucking, uh... No, not, not... No, I'm not talking about real journalists. I'm talking about games journalists. There's a difference. Games journalists aren't real journalists. I feel like the only thing games journalists do is make fun of us. That's really it. Because they hate their jobs. They don't want to be games journalists. They want to be real journalists. But they wanted to get their foot in the door. And just, instead, instead of them opening the door, they just got their foot slammed in there and they're stuck. And now they're just bitter. Next DLC will be a fully voiced mode. Man, that would be great. Uh, but no, I actually, uh, I actually got all the DLC along with the game too. So uh, I actually have the Shinobu and the Bad Girl DLC. So that should be kind of fun. Cause I think, uh, I think Bad Girl adds a new. No, Shinobu adds a new level. I forget what Bad Girl adds. Check the DLC for that later. But yeah, it's I'm I'm enjoying it so far. In fact, hey, maybe I'll uh maybe I'll stream a little bit of it tomorrow, cause I mean, hey, it sounds like fun. Make an animation of my story about games journalists. Uh, that won't make me some enemies. <laughs> uh, kind of glad I don't have big audiences just so my uh. The, those thoughts don't leak out to people. It's just kept with us. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'd get a bunch of hate for hating on game journos. Maybe. Who knows? Hey, Antonio, what's up? Welcome to the stream, man. Wanna smash? Oh... Uh. Oh, uh, thanks, Deadpool. I appreciate it. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you'd, uh, you'd commit murder for me. <laughs> oh, Paladin's getting bit. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I kind of hate it when they don't really keep up with, uh, with updating this shit. Trying to think what else I've been doing lately. Uh, I mean, of course I've been playing a lot of... You know, I haven't been playing much of Heroes lately. I feel like the only... Uh, 
I feel like the only thing I do in FE Heroes now is I just go in for my daily logins and then shut the game off. That's all I ever do anymore in that game. I don't know, something about it just isn't appealing to me anymore. Granted, I still like the game. And I'll still go on when there's Tempest Trials, but I'm getting really lazy when it comes to other events. I haven't done anything with Grand Conquests. I haven't done anything with uh, the Forging Bond stuff. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> nice. That's a great profanity filter. It just filters out the game. Yeah, I don't mind, Deadpool. I was just saying, I'll do it tomorrow. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold off on playing the uh, third level. I'll do it on stream tomorrow. Cause yeah, I, I'm, I'm really liking No More Heroes, uh, Travis Strikes Back. It's, it's pretty good. And I feel like no one's really giving it much attention. Or at least the only people I've seen give it attention are like, they, they play like maybe 10 minutes of the game, they go, oh, this fucking sucks, and then they just fucking stop. Like, fucking, come on, people. Because remember, I, I saw, uh, I think I saw Shofu was playing it, he's like, oh man, this game's boring, I'm gonna go play Kingdom Hearts instead. It's like, fucking, really? You're gonna go play Kingdom Hearts? Ugh. You know, that's another reason I'm glad I don't have a big audience, because I feel like I'd really get shit on for not liking Kingdom Hearts at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm not alone here when saying, like, man, I, I feel like Kingdom Hearts is super overrated, right, guys? Oh god, last three five stars all had attack veins. I, 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 I really don't get the appeal of Kingdom Hearts. I don't understand why it's so appealing. Like, I understand that people like it because, oh, look, it's Disney shit. I guess maybe because I've never been really all that into Disney stuff that I don't see the appeal. But even then, like, even looking past all the Disney stuff, which is kind of hard because the whole thing is just Disney, it's like... Uh, I, I, I really still don't see what's so good about this. But of course, all I see on my fucking Twitter feed is like flooded with Kingdom Hearts. I had to put a bunch of that shit on my uh, blocked words list so I don't have to see as much. But I still see so much fucking Kingdom Hearts garbage on my timeline. It's like, fucking stop already. I, I, haven't, been getting, I haven't been able to get into anything Disney Ever since I was maybe a kid. I mean, I, I loved The Lion King when I was a kid, but... Like, Lion King and Toy Story, I loved those when I was a kid. But I... I just can't get into that stuff anymore. I don't know. It's weird. Although, to be fair, I really don't care about movies anymore, either. I'm trying to think, like, the last... The last movie I went and saw in a theater was probably, oh yeah, Star Wars Episode Seven. That was the last thing I saw in theaters. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Move on. Oh, uh, you know, that's probably another reason I'm not too into it, because I'm not really much of a Final Fantasy person either. I mean, granted, whenever we get the port of uh, FF7 on the Switch, I'll, I'll happily play that again. Because uh, I, I, was, I, I was thoroughly enjoying Final Fantasy VII. It's just a shame that my Vita couldn't, or at least the uh, Vita port is like fucking trash. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I heard a lot of good stuff about Spider-Verse. I mean, unfortunately, again, I'm not really into, like, superhero movies, so... <laughs> uh, there's really not a lot of stuff I'm into anymore, you know? I feel like I used to watch a l 
Actually, I don't even think as a kid I watched a lot of movies. Trashier than my skill in sports games. Cool. So that means it's pretty bad then. <laughs> I, I should get into playing some more Final Fantasy games. Because I feel like I really missed something there. Like, I haven't been, uh... What is it? Because I feel like I went one way with my game tastes. And then just completely ignored a bunch of like good stuff that came out. Because to be fair, I don't think I really got into RPGs until... Like high school. Granted, I still love playing like a bunch of other stuff, but I wasn't really like hardcore RPGs until high school. Probably, yeah, I want to say probably like Persona Three and Four got me back into RPGs. I actually owned Crisis Core when I was younger. I forget a lot about it, but now you played as Zack in that one. I seen Sturdy Impact. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that skill. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like at this point... <laughs> yeah, there... You know, I, I probably should have uh, titled the stream, Oh, hey, we'll have, we'll have Shio in the background while we just talk about a bunch of random shit. <laughs> I feel like that's what we always do on these streams, anyway. We just sit around and talk while, while I'm just hanging on one screen of the game. Might as well move along a little bit, then we can talk a bit. Here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely not calling the stream that, Antonio. <laughs> Alright, so just a dungeon with Mitsuki and Shio. You know, something I found funny. I remember saying a while back that I had no interest in the Beast Unit banner. Yet I still pulled on it anyway. <laughs> like the the to be fair, the I only wanted to go for one of the units, uh, Nalia, or Nilo, whatever the fuck her name is. See, I don't even know what the fuck her name is. All I knew is that I wanted to go for her, and I actually ended up getting her relatively easily. Of course, I ended up getting her what minus speed. That was cool. Um, and I actually totally forgot she had this encounter. That was pretty cool. That is true. Mitsuki is the best with magic and she has the best with strength. So yeah, power combo right here. Nah, that's understandable. I mean, there's some games that I like watching, but not necessarily playing myself. It's just that I personally can't get into Kingdom Hearts because I don't care for it at all. You know... I don't know if I could ever write that, Antonio. Mostly because I don't know what... Gazzling Beauty is. Hmm. 
Judgment Eyes. Judgment Eyes is that new game with uh with the Yakuza team, right? I think I saw a little bit of that. That looks pretty good. And to be fair, I've never really cared about Resident Evil. So I really don't know much about the remake. But hey. But I mean hey, if 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 the Yakuza team is making something, like they did with the uh Fist of the North Star game, you know it's gonna be good. You know, I don't think there's anyone on the planet who knows what gasling beauty is in Antonio. Just saying. <laughs> you classy. That's pretty that's a pretty good one, man. <laughs> Shouldn't joke around like that too much, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the gate. That's definitely the strange gate. Hmm. Like we ever understand these freaking things. That's true, Shio. Yeah, are you okay, Antonia? <laughs> what kind of drugs are you taking right now? Sounds like you're going for a wild ride. Yeah, like, like I said, if the Yakuza team is behind it, it's gonna be a great game. <laughs> they're they're amazing at making stuff. いつもあいつで忙しそうだな。心を読んでんじゃねえよ。だが、そうだな。愛も変わらずいろいろな <笑>あ。<笑> ショータイを明かした今になってすら、俺たちと絶妙な距離感を保ってやがる。前々から思っちゃいたが、つくづく住んでる世界が違うみてえだな。どういう意味だ。じいさん。あいつを知ってんのか。Now it's time for the fun part. John trying to remember all the controls. Wow, 
Once we were ready, we went through the gate. I mean, hey, they have known each other for a while. So that makes sense. Dealing with this before the old man finishes his coffee. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Let's see if I can remember this. Oh, great, more of this shit. Oh, boy. Hell of a dungeon to come back to. The diseased ruins. Cool. Let's do this. You got my back, Hokuto? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, uh, th th that, that might mean something else entirely. I, I don't know what happy-go-licky means. Yeah, they're, they're all good kids. I like them too. <sighs> Whoa, what the fuck is that? It's a big one. Attack, jump, skill, change partner, items, near, evade, target lock. Alright. I feel like I'll play be playing through most of this dungeon with Mitsuki. immediately run to a fucking enemy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, oh, that's new. Ow. Buttons for jumping.
Uh, let's see. You know, I totally forgot about Mitsuki's barrier skill. I should be using that. But instead I'm a big fucking dumbass. Ah, I just fucking walked right in front of that guy. Jesus Christ. Alright, see ya Chris. Thanks for coming out, man. See you later. I'm terrible at this fucking game. I should say some of the boxes so I don't break my combo. Oh well. Ow. Yeah, yeah, that that would have done it. Christ. Oh, great. I'm stunned and I can't attack. on this dungeon, I can tell already. Alright. Forgot he had a guard. Buy some more fucking antidotes. Be right back. All right. Oh, that was close. Come on, it's fucking stun bullshit. I don't fucking kill myself. Didn't I just kill these fucking guys?
ットだ。なトリガーアディクト。あ、バカ。Oh, you're almost dead. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off with the stun! Yeah, I know what you mean. Took me a little while to remember what it was from, but I remember. I don't fucking heal. Don't do healing bullshit on me now. Ow. Cool. Cool. I guess I want to keep my distance from this fucking thing. What the fuck he's doing now? He's confused since I broke his shield. Oh, now he's aggro. Well, now he's fucking dead. Alright. Well, that was awful. Yeah, 1900. Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. Still. Alright, well, let's shop. Might as well pick up some shit while I'm here. Two more of those. Get some more antidotes. Oh, I actually got a lot of gems. Alright, uh... Anything new to... Actually, can I do any work on... Shia's... thing? No. Oh, wait. Unlock 34. Alright, so let's... Give Shia something. This is a wind. What's this? Build the X points as you take damage. That's not too bad. 
Magic defense plus 15. Retention of fucking paralysis. That's all I put on there. Um, probably lightning sword would be good for him. Save. Alright. Well, time for me to get utterly fucking destroyed. Yay. We're pretty far in. <laughs> I knew asking you to come with me was a good idea. <laughs> I'm sure you could have handled this alone. White Maiden, was it? Looks like it's a tough job. <laughs> I take it you heard that from Mr. Taizo? Um, it's kind of weird hearing you use that name. But my soul device, Mystic no Mystique Node, is a staff. And my proficiency using barrier magic, which is white for some reason, Earn me that nickname. Personally, I think it's a little too pretentious. I see. Makes a lot more sense now. Also explains why that name carries so much weight in the underground. Sadly, my real name means almost nothing in that sphere. Recently, I've been putting in extra effort in the hopes of living up to that name. And to support the Hokuto group of my grandfather. Whoa, Mitsuki! すみません。大丈夫です。<笑>俺も まさか高畑君からそんな言葉が聞けるなんて一瞬龍崎さんの姿が重なったような気がしました。あんな熊みたいなやろうと一緒にされちゃたまんねえな。ありがとう、高畑君。何度か三年前以上に心強いです。<
There we go. That wasn't too bad. I, le I learned how to knock him down. So it wasn't too bad. Just blast him with magic. Nice. Sono go. Ore tachi wa buji ni genjitsu sekai e to modotte kita. Well, that fixes that. Kekyo ka kono kimyo na gate no shoutai wa. ホクトにも見当がつかないらしかったが。<笑>ちょっと。<笑> もちろん、時坂君やヒイラギさんたちも一緒に。そのための準備も進めている最中ですから。No, I still haven't finished it. I still have to fight Darkon and do the last part. だったらいい。いずれにせよ、俺たちは3年として後輩たちを支える。それだけは変わらねえだろうからな。そうですね。頼りにしていますよ、高畑くん。こっちのセリフだぜ。ああ。That's cute. Sake. I'll have to have Kitchen notify me get an update ready. Um, you know what? I think we'll do. I think I'll save it here and I think we'll end off for today. 
we'll, we'll do chapter six next time which will probably be sunday because tomorrow i definitely want to play uh no more heroes and since tomorrow's saturday i could stream a little er earlier tomorrow probably like one o'clock tomorrow um now you can go ahead and tell me i'm not really spoiler sensitive i mean what what's what's really the spoiler I mean, I, I, I've, I've actually seen the fight against Darkon and Gleam, so I, I, I know. I know what the cool little thing you do in that fight is. <sighs> Oof. Yeah, but you have to fight both together if you want to get the true ending, right? I already know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, alright. Well, I think I'll call it a day for today. Uh... I think I still need to record something for tomorrow, but I might just do that before I stream tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, my first stream in a while, actually. Uh, I, I should be getting back into doing this more consistently. Uh, most because I gotta kick myself in the ass, telling myself to get in gear and actually do shit now. Um... But yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but anyway, as I was saying before, uh, tomorrow instead of coming back to some more Tokyo Xanadu, we'll go into play, uh, we'll play a bit of No More Heroes, Travis Strikes Back. We'll be doing the third Death Sphere, or Death Ball. Uh, I actually don't know what it is. So. That should be fun. At least it's not the dumb puzzle one anymore where, where there's an enemy that insta-kills you if it touches you. That that was a lot of fun. Thanks, Dr. Doppelganger. Or Mr. Doppelganger, whatever the fuck your name was. Um, but yeah, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, but like I was saying, it should be probably like 1 p.m. tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you guys know on Discord what's going on with that, or Twitter too. Uh, I think Twitter should be down below the stream if you guys want to check that out. Uh, same with YouTube. I should probably put a Discord link down there, too. Oh, well. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.